So, you want to upgrade your skills in video editing? You want to get familiar with tips and tricks of visual editing skills? You wish to learn about the best spices and flavors to add to your editing workflow for a unique and interesting output? Then, join us at the Maozan Film Academy's One Week of Creative Editing as we cover storytelling, creative editing, motion graphics, and sound effect. Date is Monday, October the 23rd to Friday, October the 27th, 2023. The time is 3 p.m. daily. Venue is Zoom. Discounted prices are available for past students of the Academy. Be sure to upload your certificates for proof of membership. To register, use this link on the screen. For more info, send an email to Mount Zion Film Academy at gmail.com or call these numbers. Classes will also be recorded so you can watch at your own convenience throughout the academic period. Mount Zion Film Academy, see you in class. So where was I? Oh yes, subscription. Mm. Yeah. Special thanks to everyone that has subscribed to Damla McBamelo's YouTube channel. God bless you. And uh, to those about to click it, Jesus is coming soon. There is no time. So please, click right away. And uh, if it hasn't even crossed your mind, why? Why? Over half of those watching are not subscribers. Do I have to tell you why you need to subscribe? Because... Because it doesn't... It doesn't <laughs>
Yeah. Train servant. Mr. Frank. Yeah. Let me get this straight. If Badi wants son, you're dead because he kills his daughter. Why then does he want his own son dead? In son, I want unfortunate sacrifice. If Badi gas pay for not putting son your Martin's down. For Badi on his own, no. Of a kid, a boy. So he wants to kill Sonia, Martins, and his son? Me too. And you? That guy is just an animal. The worst of his kind. He don't care about anything or anyone. The only thing we care about will be number one for him mind. Now say he won't get rank for secrecy. What if his son leaves? Every day, where that boy they leave, now Ingba they go the day close to in grave. Now why him want him down at all costs? Mm. Thank you for telling me everything. We had a deal. Yes. We had a deal. Help yourself. Who you they report for? Excuse me? Who you be? I am calculus. No. Nah. If you know be one kind of reporter, it go be one secret police. Anyone where you be, you know, day for this world. And why did you think so? That time when I been give you that gun, say make you kill that boy. I see as they shake. That time I know say this guy you no know, day for this house. Tell me who you be. I have told you I am, but you have chosen not to believe me. I know if you believe, say I fought for that trash. If I come on here. If I don't turn free, man, I will come for you. I gave you the knife, and now you use it against me. If you don't talk truth, I go use them on top of you. Whatever you do pursue, make sure I say what I am. Excuse me? You get family. You get good people back home. We love you. You can't abandon them. They pursue on your yes story because of your ambition. You call the chase stories. We don't get lasting value. I hope say what I'm sure. I think it's a mistake giving you the knife. It's a mistake I did. I go come up for here. And if I don't come up here, I they come for you. Martin. Baguro. Martins. Yeah. Baguro. My oh. son. Oh God, I'm so happy to see you. Oh my God, you're here, you're here for me? Yes. Oh God, I'm so excited. Mm. I'm so excited. I'm so glad to see you. Same here. I'm happy to see you too. Oh, oh. Mm. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's go, let's get out of here. Please open this gate, please. No, not now. What do you mean, not now? <sighs> we can't go now. What do you mean, it's not your time? <laughs> you still need to be here for a while. What? Baguero, no, no, I'm not staying here any longer. If you're not getting me out of here, then why, why am I here? I came to comfort you. I don't need comfort. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. If Daniel had escaped the lion's den, how would he have been promoted by the king? If Joseph had escaped the pit, how would he have become the prime minister? Martins, this may be your lion's den, 
Matthias, this may be your pit, but if God is for you, who can be against you? Matthias, it is time to leave. Let's go. Where, where are you taking me to? Matthias, this is not the time to ask me questions. Well, I, I thought you said you are transferring me. And that is what I'm doing. Then where are we? Where is this place? Matthias, goodbye. What? What? Sir? Martin's Duro Sonia. Fate got your own way of playing to its cheek. I don't think after our fight for Banksy, where we go meet. But now, where Fate don't bring you, come here. We just finish the thing where we don't start. Martins. Who be that? Eh? Martins. What, what are you doing here? I... 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 Who he be? Tell me who he be! Martins. Don't tell him. Talk! Oh, who he be? He's a journalist. I knew it! You! My instinct sharp! You know they lie! You know they deceive me! It's not a close or calculator or kakaki and be waiting that they call you! If I catch you, I'm gonna kill you! Just don't say you'll be dead, man! You don't die! Ah. Where's Martins? He has been transferred, sir. Transferred to where? I don't I don't know, sir. What do you mean you don't know? You, you know you don't have any right to transfer a man whose case has not been tried in the court of law. Sir, I don't know much about this case and the person you are talking about, sir. What? He was brought in here yesterday. <laughs> you people accused him of being a conspirator to yesterday's armed robbery. And now you don't know where he is. Sir, I would like to transfer you to the officer in charge of the case, sir. Who is the officer in charge? Baba Biro, Barista Digbola, it's good to see you two again. Well, unfortunately, under a very unusual circumstance. Okay, so what brings you? Martins. Yes, Martins. He was framed up and arrested for an offense he knows nothing about, nothing. 
I'm sorry, Baba Guero. I'm sorry. How can you? I mean, no, how can you uh, accuse him of harm robbery? Does he look like a robber to you? Uh, so, Joe Lenny. Martins is my very good friend. I know he's innocent. If he's your very good friend, then why did you allow them to take him in? Why? See, you need to understand that I did my best. I tried to fight for his release. But unfortunately, my hands are tied. The DPO was the one who pushed the robbery narration. And I met him to discuss the matter. But it seems his mind is made up. He is determined to see Martins behind bars. So, there's really nothing I can do right now. Wait. <gasps> Officer. Yeah. If I may ask, why was he transferred? Transferred? Yes, we were reliably told that he was transferred. Transferred, yes. Transferred to where? I should be asking you. I'm sorry, I don't have that information. Then where is Martins? Transferred. Excuse me, I need to make some calls. <laughs> Transferred. Hmm. Hello. Morning, ma. Yes. I've just been told that Martins has been transferred. Yes, he has. To where? I don't know, ma. What do you mean you don't know? Who ordered the transfer? And when was this order given? I don't know, ma, but I think the DPO knows about it, ma. What? Are welcome. Yeah, oh my god. I am so happy so to much. see you. So come in, come in, come in. Thank I'm you, so happy you, to see you. you. Please sit down, sit down. Hey. Wow. Sit, sit, it's sit, been sit, a sit. long time. Yeah. It's been, it's been a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have missed you guys. How have you yeah, been? Yeah, we have missed you too. Of course we have. But we've been calling you and you've not been picking up calls. I am so sorry. You, I mean, you guys know how wedding plans can be. Okay. Wedding girl, Bella. <laughs> so, how is preparation going? Hey, my sister. Hmm. It's going on. <laughs> it's going on well. It's been very, very stressful. Yeah. But I mean, we thank God. Yeah. yeah. No wonder you have not been coming to church. It's not intentional. I have been very, very busy. Like I've been swamped. Mm. Just yesterday, my mom and I were talking about, you know, traveling to Dubai. Wow, really? <laughs> yes. I mean, you, you guys, you know me. Mm. All the things I've been seeing around there below my expectations. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't even manage, I can't manage them at all. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. Mm. Anyway, hmm. so I called you guys here today okay. because I wanted to tell you personally that you guys are going to be part of my bridesmaids. Wow. wow. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's such a whole no. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the day already. Ah. <laughs> Me too, my dear sister. Do you want to see the dress you'll be wearing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Here you go. Oh, no way. Yes, way. <laughs> you are mm -hmm. real. Wow. Yes, way. <laughs> ha, hey, Yola. Mm -hmm. If we are going to be putting on these gorgeous dresses, mm -hmm. I can't imagine what you'll be putting on. <laughs> are you sure you want to see what I'm wearing? Of course. Are you wow sure? Me. Wow me, babe. Okay. Wow me. Okay. <laughs> you asked for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Oh my God. It's nice, right? <laughs> this is one in thousand. Oh. <laughs> one in thousand. Ah, you can trust I me. Trust you mm. can trust, trust me. You. I mean, I don't I don't do cheap mm, things. Mm. You know, you know. Hey. Um Anyola. Mm-hmm. What is gonna follow you to do, Pai? Hmm. Cynthia, mm. you know, mm. you know, you know, it's going to be stressful, and you don't need all that stress. And I'm going to help you. I'm going to ease the mm -hmm. burden. Mm. <laughs> it's true, mm. but sorry, there's somebody doing that already. I can help the person. Mm. The person has a person. Then I can help the person. The person already. Hey, has. Cynthia. Hey, please, now let me just follow you to do <laughs> I'll consider it. Thank you. Is Rose okay? 
Rose, you've been quiet. What's up? Mm. Actually, Cynthia and I mm. decided that when we get here, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to you about something important. It is no more important. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm, it is no more important. At this point, the only thing important is your wedding, babe. That's Cynthia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was all we discussed back home. Mm. Rose, can we please just talk about this some other time? Okay, wait, wait, wait. What is it you guys want to tell me? See, it's nothing serious. Forget it. See, it is a message from the Lord. It is serious. In fact, it is more serious than the wedding. Really? More serious than the wedding? Than my wedding? Um, we are not saying your wedding is not serious. So. Okay. She's just trying to say that... Can we please talk about this some other time? Cynthia, you of all people should know that I won't be able to live with myself if I take this message back home. Okay, okay, you know what? What is this message? Thank you, Jerry. Okay. So the message is in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 5 to 8. You people didn't tell me we were doing Bible study. Ah, I would have, you know, I would have come prepared. I would have brought my Bible study kit. I told you it's not necessary. Ah. See, so open your Bible. Uh, see, ignore her. Mm. Mm. Okay. Those who live according to the flesh, have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their mind set on what the Spirit desires. Mm. The mind governed by flesh is death, but the mind governed by Spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by flesh is hostile to God, it does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. Okay. See, Emma, mm -hmm. the Lord said I should tell you that you have neglected your first love. My first love. Yeah. Yes. See, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, He said you no longer test for Him the way you used to. Mm. You have lost your desire for Him and you have given your heart, your soul, and your spirit to a man. What? What are you saying? Enola, please ignore her. Please. <laughs> What does, what does this even mean? You come to my house and make such terrible accusations. I told you to forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, see, Cynthia, no, I can't. I'm sorry. At this point, I have to say what the Lord has put in my mouth to say. Hmm. Eniola, mm -hmm. the Lord said I should tell you to go back to him in repentance before it's too late. See, the Lord loves you. And doesn't want you to perish. But you see the devil, this stupid devil, is using your wedding. Your wedding as a major tool to distract you. And your last the Lord said I should tell you. To Rose, me. get out of my house. These are not my words, and your last. Rose, please. Leave. Get out of my house. Okay, fine. But the Lord said we should pray for you. I am done listening to your rubbish. Please just leave. Leave. Get out. And you too. Me? Yes, both of you. But, but I will. I'm not... Get out! Get out! Leave my house! Get out of my house! Ah! Rubbish! Please, please, Jesus, please, please, please send 
you listen to me? You are in a wrong place. You will never find the help you're looking for here. There are forces after the life of your son. I'm only here to show him the way out. Just like you showed my daughter the way out? I was under their operation, but now I am free. I want that freedom for you, for your son. We don't need your freedom! Morenike, calm down, okay? Calm down. I know the things going on much more than you do. And I'm telling you, if you want your son to leave, then come with me. I know a safe place I can take him to. Agree with me, please. Mom, I don't feel safe here. Shut your mouth. Morelike, okay? there's no safety in the camp of the devil. There's no safety in the camp of the enemy. This boy cannot survive a night. One night in this place. I beg of you, please trust me. Toya, for your safety, leave. You can fight me any way you want. You can even try and take me down. But I have to take this boy away with me now. Toya, don't tell me. Renke, you know it. Are you going to threaten a desperate man with a log of wood? I am desperate to see your son leave. I am desperate to see the secret seers defeated by the power of the Lord Jesus. I am desperate to prove to them that Jesus was already a sacrificial lamb and that there is no need for any further sacrifice. There is no need for bloodshed. Do whatever you want to do, but leave my son out of this. Morenike, your son here is already deep in this. But Aki must not die. He must not die. Under my watch, he can never die. Watch him all nice if you can. But when higher powers come for him, there is nothing you, you can do. Not the least with this wood. Merchant of fire is a place of refuge and shit. Merchant of fire is under the secret sayers of the underworld. Can't you see? Morenike. Let me tell you the secret that your husband, Bade, will never, ever tell you. This fraternity runs on blood. No one gets out and survives. But I got out and I survived only by the power and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ever since then, 
I have been haunted. They have tried every means to pull me down. <laughs> Renika, as I talk to you now, they have my son, they have Martins. But the reason I am not worried, the reason I'm not looking around for him is because I have, I have the perfect assurance that Jesus Christ is with him, just as he was with me, even when death held me down for, for two good years. The secret seers have come to a point in the fraternity called the ultimate sacrifice. Every member of this fraternity must sacrifice precious seed as a fortification from punishments that await them ultimately and also to strengthen their cord and unity to attack. Listen very well, if Aki here is your precious seed, then he's in bad danger. He's in danger! And we protect him! Can you even protect your own self? Can you? What would you use to protect him? Look at you, this log of wood. I took your daughter from you. Please allow me to give you back your son, please. <laughs> I can't! Aki's survival is a threat to your husband's existence. Your husband will do anything and everything in his power to take this man out, this is your young son out. But I want to do everything in God's power to make him free and live. God did not save me. God did not save me to witness another death in my hands. Mom, listen to him. Listen to him. He's right. <laughs> These guys say they want to help me. I hear they tie me up like an animal. Okay. Okay. You got me. Thank you. Thank you. And what is he doing here? I am sorry, Father of Fire. Who gave him the permission to come in here? Now listen to me. You held this young man captive. And I'm here by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ to set him free. I advise you to leave right away. Listen, you mother of fire. I know who you are. I know your connection to the Grand Master. And I know you are keeping our king here as a spray. But that will never happen as long as I'm here. That is not true. Aki came in here for life. <laughs> here, here. The only thing I smell here is death. So you don't give me that lie. You have trespassed. And I advise you to go out right away. Look, whatever plans you have with the Grand Master have failed. When he asks you where is the prey, you tell him Drusaya has come for him. Get out! I am going nowhere. Soya, I said get out of here. I said I am going nowhere without him. Get him out of here right now. Leave me alone. Go out! No, 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 Why? Yes, dear. I want you to get our passports ready. Yes, for everyone. Okay? I booked the flight. We are leaving this country tonight to start all over. No, 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 no. You don't have to pack so much. No, don't worry. We have enough money to start afresh. Yes, I promise you that. I hope you started packing. <laughs> I 
And what's the meaning of this? I have a question, sir. You must you stand in front of my car before I answer your questions? Barrick, get out of this place! No, sir. I'm going nowhere. Where is Martins? Oh, maybe you don't know. My duty here is to see to what goes on in this station. And yours, however, is to know about whoever comes in or out of this place. Ever since I brought that boy Martins into this place, you have been keen on letting him out. So you went at night. You opened the cell and you allowed him to escape. And you removed his name from the records. And you are here standing in front of me asking questions. For your notice, your boyfriend is going nowhere. Try another trick, sir. What did you just say? I said, try another trick. You are not leaving here until Martins is found. And I will strip you and lock you in the guardroom. <laughs> sir, say all you want. But you are not going to leave here until I see Martins. We shall see. We shall see. Hello there. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. Why are you crying? <laughs> Answer me for God's sake. Why are you crying? I just got a call from Shindara school now. It has happened. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Our baby girl was knocked by a motorcycle. <laughs> hey, accident? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh no, oh no, oh god, why? Sir, is everything alright? She was rushed to the hospital and she was badly injured. The doctor even said her chances of survival is slim. How, how bad is the accident? It is so bad. Terribly bad. It was blood all over our body. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, God. Please drop whatever you are doing. Just come, 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 Mama, to the hospital. Just come. Okay, okay. Just, just calm down. I'm coming, okay? I'll be with you shortly. I'll be with you shortly. Sir, is everything all right? <laughs> Sir, is there a problem? Hello, Chief. Yes, Baba Benro. Martins is no longer in the station. He has been transferred. Uh, transferred? To where? Nobody knows. No one is talking. Everyone is confused. Ha, ha. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. What is it? Ah! But they has him. Where is he? He's inside. Take me to him. Ah, Mr. Martins. Ah, so sorry. Ah, so sorry, so sorry. Long time no see. You know, I've been looking forward to your time like this, eh? Have you had something to eat? You're very mannerless. How have you not given our guests something to drink? Baba. Ah, Matthews must be very hungry by now. Hmm? Okay, all right. Prepare a table for two. You and I will fish together, hey? Table for two. We fish together. Huh? Table for two. Eniola, are you okay? I am fine. You don't look fine to me. You're worried. And you're thinking about something. I am not thinking about anything. I am fine. No, Eniola, please talk to me. What's up? I am fine. No, you're not. This is not the you I used to know. And I'm sure that something is definitely bothering you. Speak now. 
Binru, leave me alone. I said, I am fine. Oh, I should leave you alone. Why are you bothering me? I'm bothering you. What do you want from me? Say, so, look, I just wanted to be sure that you're okay, you're good. That's it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Biru. Ma? Your father called you to help him and you ignored him. No. Biru. Shayelonje. You abandoned your father when he needed you most. That's not true, Mom. How would I do that? Sorry, when was that? He asked you to help out with Martins. Is that not? Oh, Martins. I'm done with that guy. That guy is your brother. Look, you just have to force him on me. I'm sorry if you called because of Martins. I'm tired of going to the police station to help him out. Look, mommy, he no longer needs my help. He needs God's help. Call your father now and apologize. All right, I will. I can see your pre-wedding pictures all over the internet. Is it a sin? No, it's not. Thank God, because there's nothing you cannot see. But Biro. There has been a consistent warning from the Lord, and you keep ignoring it. What kind of warnings? Why can't you and your friends spend time to know the will of God for your life instead of drawing pictures all over the internet? See, where they will come and go. But what matters most is the foundation, the foundation you lay. In your courtship. See, that is what will last you all. That is what will keep you forever. Not all this paparazzi you are displaying all about. Eh? No, she really. So we should not post pre wedding pictures. All I am asking you, Bero, is to seek God. Know the will of God for your life. Ah, you know? The Bible talked about the two houses that was built. One on the rock and one on the sand. Mejeji, bye. The storm came. Came and built both houses. Whoa. The one on the sand, thank God you knew it. The one on the sand fell and crumbled. I see a pie. But the one on the rock stood firm. The rock represents the word of God. Are you building the foundation of your marriage on the rock, which is God's word, or on the sand, which is the worldly pleasure? I'll think about it. Bero. Look, Mom, I have to go. Please. Hmm? Bero. Emma, one more. Ha! Father, have mercy on me, oh! Let your blood speak. Hey! Yeah. <clears throat> so, where were we? Who was that? My mom. Okay. What did she say? Oh. So now you're interested in what she has to say? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. <laughs> really? I've been trying to get your attention all day, but you were all gloomy. Mm. Now you're interested in my mom's conversation, Emiola. Fine then, keep it to yourself. Babe, come on now. You know, you know I'm just trying to, you know, watch out for you. Mm. Okay. What did mommy say? Forget it. I am interested in knowing what mommy said. What she said is irrelevant. Oh, 
what your mother said is irrelevant. Wow. Look at Nola. Mm. What is relevant right now mm -hmm. is the love I have for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. What did mommy say? So you insist. Yes, I do. All right. <clears throat> Mom says she's not happy with our pre wedding pictures. Mm. She said that. Yeah. She said that uh, we're just parading ourselves all over social media. Oh, wow. Whatever that means. Is that all she said? Yeah. Mm. That's what she said. Are you sure? Would I be lying? I don't know. <clears throat> Look, let's forget about mom. Let's forget about the conversation, the providing pictures and all that. Mm. Are you coming to my house tonight? To come and do what? To do what husband and wife do now. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do husband and wife do? Mm. Oh, ah. <laughs> really? yeah. Are we husband and wife? But mm. we are going to be married soon. Mm. I mean soon. Mm. <laughs> Benro, yeah. if you don't value me, I value myself. Come on, stop that. We're talking about value here. You know I value you. You mm. know it. Mm. You value me. <laughs> Beiru, you value me. Yet, you cannot protect me. You value me, yet you're constantly exposing me to things the spirit is against. Beiru, you don't value me. Not at all. All you value is yourself. And all you care about is yourself. Excuse me. I don't tell me how you want. Say today that Jesus will go serve us. Say I will be my God. Say today, we will not say we fool God. At the calm now. I'm gonna meet this as you want. Say we put on day. Say we don't show. Just she come, do you come, eh? <laughs> ah, Mr. G1. Uh, yeah, hello, hi. I'm fine, how are you doing? I probably not going to be my guys, I'm here, yeah. Fuga. Wow, wow. We will serve God together. Wow, wow. This, 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 is, this is wonderful. <laughs> this is great. Mm. The Lord is doing a great job. <laughs> uh, and let, me, let me quickly introduce um, our, our president, um, Brother Dele. Brother this is um, for Larry. The, the new convert I told you. Oh. Yes, nine, yes. Nine, nice to meet you. Wow, this, this is great. Yeah. I'm so happy to, to see this. It's a pleasure. I'm, I'm so happy to see this. Yeah. So, um, who's preaching today? Uh, uh, it's Brother Lee, the president. <laughs> no, no, no. I want you to preach today. Guys, I, I must be here. Yes, I'm here. You know what? <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm also a member hmm, yeah. of this fellowship. I, I cannot just climb the stage without being invited. The reason why I brought these guys is for them to listen to you. Mm -hmm. And that is it. Yes, I understand you, Folari. It's not about me. It's ultimately all about Jesus. You know, the Lord used me the last time and the Lord is about to use him this time, <laughs> today. <laughs> yes. You see, uh, President, I want you to hand over to him to preach today. And um, later on, you can pick up your, your presidency. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. Uh, um, excuse no, me. No, please, for Larry. Um, it's my interest you to actually know that, um, to the glory of God, I was the one that led. Mm. <laughs> I was the one that led him to. Congratulations, sir. It may also interest you to know that he is the one that led me 
Almighty me to Christ. Uh, so you, 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 you yes. got the flow. See, see. You know, the, the Lord used the president for my life, and I, the Lord used me for your life. Can we please allow the Lord to use the president for today? Our decision is clear. We want him to preach today. And final, that is final. Final, final full stop. Um, you get. Mr. Folari. We have a system of doing things here, you yeah. see? And, and you cannot just come from outside to come and start directing us. Hey. That's not even an ESCO. Hey, what? 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 He just called you an outsider. He called us an outsider! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, I, I didn't call him no, an outsider. No, I, I, no, I no, I didn't... no. He's not calm, he's not calm. <laughs> Did you just call me an outsider? Yes! Now let me direct this scene! No, let me! Now let me direct this scene! I am a direct outsider! What I said was that, you know, when you join an organization or a fellowship, you have to humble yourself to submit to the authority. Yes! Yeah. He did talk, say! He's authority. Flo, he did talk, say, now he be authority over you. Uh -uh. Now he be your papa, now he be your mama. Uh -huh. Now he... Uh -huh. Where do we have? Uh -huh. Where do we have? Yes, yes. Where do we have? Yes. Where do we have? Yes. Yes. No, no. You make your authority. Ask him. Calm down. Calm down. Over me. Authority. So, see, we are all under the authority of the Lord Jesus. Yeah, exactly. We have a strict protocol of doing things here. And you cannot just come from outside to come and do it. You see the talk now. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You see the call and outside now. Talk again. Calm down. Listen, the word is now. Calm down. Calm down. You call me an outsider again? Now let me do this thing. I don't care. You call me an outsider. I'm an oppressor. Mr. Folari, you and your clan, you are just hearing what you want to hear. See, is it the guy that wants to preach us? This one. This one, boy. That one boy enough as me flow. This one not preach on me. By the grace of God, I'm the one preaching the word this afternoon. And if you are broken, you will enter in there. Because you have a scout. Flow. He just talk, say you broke. It's okay. Say you no get money for pocket. It's okay. Say you be tortured. It's okay. No. It's okay. It did not say our own flow. flow. Don't broke. Me, yeah, I broke. You know where I be? Talk him again. What? What? What did I say? You say me, I'm broke. Imagine this fool! No, 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 no. What did you just say? What did you just say? Hey, fool! 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 And he started insulting me. Let me just get fellowship. Let me get down. Tell him. Now you be down. This fool. Why, 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 why did you call me a fool? Why did you call me a broke guy? Why, why did you call, why me, you call me a broke guy? I, I, I did not call you a broke guy. Please call me a broke guy. No, please. I'm not asleep now. I'm not asleep. I did it. Yes. You are not broken. Yes. Hey, again. Hey, again. Again. I don't die. I don't die. You call me broke. Me broke. You didn't come and see Brooks, see your coat. You don't see him for a club before. Where are the ball? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I don't go to clubs. Uh, we don't go to clubs. No one has said I broke. If you don't go to hey. see me, why is this say I broke? Me. I, I did not say you were broke. He did not say that. What is this? Is that a lie? Did you see that? That's what a lie. Fola, Fulani, please calm down. Eh? Bodily, calm down. But I'm out of here. Leave, leave, leave. Guys, guys, let's go, let's go. <laughs> see, you guys, you're shorting me. Uh -uh. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, it's because he doesn't know you. He doesn't know you, Fola. Uh, if you know me, let me insult me. See, man. Who are you? Ah! Fly, fly. He, he, he doesn't know you, okay? Obviously. He doesn't know you. Who are, who are you? You don't know where I be. Ah. You don't know me. Hey. Hey. Fola, you get No, you need a flow. In fact, because you call me broke, I'm leaving in finish, and I'm not going to come back again. See, if you leave now, how are you going to prove to him that, that you're not broke? It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. If I, I know they live again, I won't put to some money day. Aha! I go spend money inside the fellowship. I go spend this. Turn everything in house. Bro, you go spend that. spend for club now. I am talking to Jesus and your fellowship. Now I go spend that. Spend it. Spend God. the money. God does not need your money. God does not need his money. <laughs> I don't care. Why does God need that money? Oh, you don't need that money. I go see spend that. Spend that. Spend that. You, you go see, say, I know bro. What do you need for this fellowship? Yeah. What do you need this fellowship? We don't need anything from you. Actually, actually, we need, um, 
um, PA system, um, a, speak, a speaker, and we don't have one or two. Wait, wait, like, let's, let's start with the PA system. How much is the PA system? God speaks to us through his word. And his word is priceless. I will be this Actually, I will slap your actually we need around 250k. 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 Uh, put account number here. We will do no Put your account here. number here. We will do no <laughs> such thing. Sent. Hey! <laughs> God, no, you are just sent. Slow! Slow! <laughs> yes. Have you not received that last? <laughs> see? This one. If they're born in a way. Next week Sunday, of the next fellowship, make a come, make a not see, confirm sicker. You will not no say, if you dare your choice. You will this See? You will not see the speaker. You will scatter this shot. I've said it before, and I will say it again. You are not broken at all. <laughs> you don't go far. <laughs> money is tired. When money is tired, tones will <laughs> change. Okay. Now he said, I'm not broke. You're you're not, you don't get that last. Wait, wait, wait. You don't get that last. Now, I'm not broke. broke. That, that's what I said now, before. I said you are not now broke. Now you are talking, my brother. Oh, <laughs> we are going to Valoshi. Definitely. Yes. Nobody can Money support. speaking. And now, front row will go sit. Front row. Front row. Front row. We will spend money. We will enter. We will see what we will do like this. By the way, Nothing if you do. You see how? You get me? If you don't get it, forget, forget about, about it. it. All right, brothers and sisters, I would like to call up on stage our leader, the shepherd, our own president, the one brother the Lord is using mightily for this school. We stand in ovation. Come on, join me, celebrate. Brother Dele Adebola, come on, celebrate him. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, shall we pray? Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you speak to us through your word. And for those who are here with ulterior motives, who are not broken, those people who have pride and arrogance in their hearts, those people who worship their money, <laughs> Father, we pray that you will show them yourself today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name have we prayed. We can have our seats. Thank you very much. So today, we are going to be sharing from a popular story in the Bible. Acts chapter 9 from verse 1 to 6. It's a popular story about a man called Saul. This man was persecuting the church of God. He even went as far as collecting letters from the chief priest so that he can travel to Damascus and afflict the children of God there. When he was traveling there on his horse, suddenly a bright light shone around him and knocked him off from the horse. He said, Lord, Lord, who are you? And a voice came from the light and said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Go into the city and it will be told you what you must do. <laughs> you see, brethren, I want us to review the life of this man called Saul. This man was so full of pride and arrogance. This man had so much disrespect and disregard for Jesus and his followers. He was so full of pride. If you are like that in the house today, I would like you to lift up your hands. Just wave. <laughs> Obviously, I know nobody will lift up their hands. But ask yourself that question. No, you should ask yourself that question. If you are coming to fellowship and you are thinking you are doing God a favor, you are coming to fellowship and, and there's so much pride and arrogance in your heart, what makes you different from Saul? No, what makes you different from Saul? Who was riding on his eyes until he encountered Jesus and that light knocked him off from his eyes and broke his pride, shattered it into pieces. Brothers and sisters, you see, I don't know what horse you are riding. Maybe you are riding the eyes of money, or you are riding the eyes of fame. It might even be the eyes of your career. I want you to know that God does not need your eyes, but He needs you. So before He can use you for His glory, he will make you fall off that horse. He will make you fall to the ground. Some people think they are doing God a favor by giving the fellowship money. See, let me tell you, Jesus did not come to die for you so that you give him money. 
He came to die for you so that he will set you free from your sin and immorality. I want to beg you to keep your money first and offer him your soul. Give him your soul. You see, what shall he profit a man if he gains the whole world and he loses his soul? What shall he give in exchange for his soul? Satan can offer you all, all the riches of this world, all the glories of this world, in exchange for your soul. Do you know why? Because in the merchandise of the spirits, a soul is more expensive than all the kingdoms of this world. You see, that was why he told Jesus, worship me and I will give you all the kingdoms of the world. <laughs> but you see, Jesus answered and said to him, away from me, Satan, for it is written, you will worship the Lord your God and serve him only. So who is Jesus looking for this morning? Jesus is not looking for a man who is rich. Jesus is not looking for a man who is famous. Jesus is not looking for a student that is popular in the school. So who is Jesus looking for today? Jesus is looking for that person who will love him with all his soul and all his heart. For that person that will love him with all his strength and all his might. Those are the kind of people God is looking for. If you are like that today, and you are saying, Lord Jesus, I want to come down from my high horse. I want to serve you alone. I want to surrender everything to you. I want you to rise up and come forward. You want to get off your high horse of pride. I want you to rise up and be on your feet. I want you to rise up and be on your feet. You know, the rest of us, can we just what pray for this guy and crying now? This one passed me, he passed me. He's becoming a manazi. A few minutes ago, I was forming that guy. Look at him now. Full brother will be expiring. And ask God to break us. He should make us broken. And he should deliver us from our idols of pride. Can we all be upstanding? If, if you want to rededicate your heart to Jesus, please come forward. I'm no longer riding this horse taking me to Damascus. I'm coming down from my high house. I'm surrendering everything to you. I'm surrendering everything to you. Oh, brother, there's so much room at the cross to take you. There's so, oh, my brother. God is ready to break. This guy is love star. Love star. Why is he hugging him? What? What should we do now? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Guy, guy, guy. Guy. Blessing on you, this John. Set me free from pride. Set me free from pride. Yes, me will stand. It will be like saving. Yes, it has to be. Set me free from pride. Set me free pride oh and your arrogance oh is ready to have mercy on your soul. Oh Can we pray and say, Lord, deliver us. Deliver me. Deliver me. Set me free from pride. Just said it was a hit and run motorcycle. I don't understand what his habit was. I don't know what his habit was. What did you have said? Hit and run. Yes. Oh no. God. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no. What is oh, no, it? No, no. What is it? Talk to me now. Soya. Soya. Where's Soya? Chief Drew Soya, why? Why? What has it got to do with what is happening to us? He's the one doing this to us. Ah. Uh, yes, he is. Oni, what have you got yourself into? Oh. My God. I, I, I got us into trouble. Ah. Hey. Ah. Yes, Darling, I promise I'm going to get us out of this. Hey. Huh? I'll work. God, where are you going? You just came in now. You don't want to stay with us at all. See, I must speak with him right away. Huh. If I don't, we're going to lose her truly. My baby must not die. He must not die. Ah, oh, God. Help me. I need help. The police have taken my son and handed him over to Bade. 
but I hand over matters to you, God. Help me. Watch over him, O oh God. Don't let any harm come over Martins. Hello? Chief Sawyer, I'm pleading with you. Leave my daughter alone. Please leave my family out of this. Sorry? Who is this? It's DPO. DPO? I know you can't remember me. I took your son away from you. Yes? So where did you take him? See, that's not the reason why I'm calling, please. So you've taken him to your principal, but they demand you walk for, right? Will, will you listen to me, please? Yes, I'm listening. For the sake of your dignity, for the sake of your honor, for the sake of your integrity, Please, leave my family out of this mess. I have nothing to do with your family. Face me, you coward! Face me! And stop attacking innocent people! What did you just call me? Coward! You're a coward! That's what I've called you! Then this, this discussion is over. Coward! Yes, coward! That's who you are! Listen to me. This conversation is far from being over. Excuse me? If my daughter dies, <laughs> if my daughter dies, her blood is on your hands. Your daughter? Yes, my daughter. But, 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 sorry? I, I don't, I can't remember. I don't. Yes, my daughter. You attacked my daughter. All because I came for your son? You want to kill my baby girl? You want to kill an innocent girl? Why? After I denied you access to see your son, you look straight into my eyes and you asked about my wife and my daughter. Oh, yes. I did. And why? Why did you ask after them? I honestly don't know. I just wanted to ask after their, uh, their welfare. That's why I told you to take care of them. Stop these senseless lies, please! Stop these lies! So, what exactly do you want from me? My daughter lies on the hospital bed. Her life is on the line. Huh? Why? why? Why did you ask about her? You categorically asked about my daughter. Why? But I asked after your family. I asked after your wife. Just as well as I asked after your daughter. Everyone you ask after is going through one turbulence or the other. My wife is depressed. My daughter is on the sick bed, dying. I'm having a headache. See that temperature? Oh, so sorry. Sorry? No, that, that's all you will say. Sorry? You've got to do something. You have to do something. So, so, so what do you want me to do now? I've lost my peace. I've lost my joy. How is that my fault? Then, whose fault? No, whose fault? Your own fault, yes. Everything you are passing through is your fault. So don't put the blame on me. You carry your own blame with full confidence. You took the devil's gift. So you don't expect peace or rest of mind. How did I take the devil's gift? You tell me, how much did Bade give you to do his bidding? How much? I guess you thought you could use the money for something useful, right? I bet you never reckoned with the fact that the money can disappear on, in, on an emergency. What he paid me was for a ticket to escape out of this country. Canada was waiting for me. Everything was running smoothly. But you came into the picture. Now I'm stuck. My life is upside down because of you, Soya. Officer, the truth is I am not the source of your troubles. Please, Chief. 
as a father to a father. Please leave my family alone. Please. Don't let my baby girl die. Please, I am begging you. Chief, please. What joy will I derive in that? See, look, I am no longer the man I used to be. I am a changed man. I'm just begging, Chief, please. Don't visit the sin of the father. The child or, or even wife, please. I, I, I'm begging. I, I'm on my knees, please. I'm on my knees. Just have mercy on me, Chief, please. So, can I pray for your daughter? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, um, I, I, I'm close to her. I only came outside to make this call. Okay, calm down. I'll pray for her. Chief, thank you. Th th thank you, thank you, thank you. But before I pray for her, there is something you must know. Okay. I'm all here, sir. Listen, ill-gotten wealth has no lasting value. But righteousness delivers from death. Okay. But how does that relate to my dying daughter? You are a police officer. God was counting on you to uphold the law and restore oddliness. But instead, you use your position and influence to victimize and oppress innocent people. You take corrupt money. You let down your guard and submit to the biddings of evil people. <laughs> You have forgotten that whatever you sow, that you will of course reap. You are trapped. But I tell you, if you want freedom, run to Jesus now. Okay? <sighs> I know, I know. Chief, please just, just pray for me. Pray for my daughter. Pray for my wife, pray for us. I'm ready to run to Jesus. Please just pray for me. Just pray for me. This used to be your father's favorite wife. Introduce it to me, and now I'm introducing it to you. Uh, digging and heat. I'm not hungry. So you are really going to kill me because I refuse to eat your food? Yeah. You see, if you eat, you die. If you don't eat, you die. Death is very sure for you today. Death is inevitable. Yeah, but for some, it's closer. Why for others, it's, uh, it's further. Uh, but um, for you, death is sure today, Matthews. You know, my Bible tells me that though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Amen. 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 Now, eat. I'm not hungry. You seem not to understand what I'm talking about, Matthew. See, I promised your dad that I'm going to kill you. Now, I've been thinking of several ways to achieve that purpose, you know. I'm thinking of slitting your throat, but that was how your dad killed my daughter. And I'm thinking, nah, because the more you think about it, the more boring it, it becomes. So, poisoning me is a more interesting way of killing me? Poisoning you? Yes. Poison? Yes. Uh, Mali. Baba. Is there poison in this food? Poison? No, Baba. Taste it. Sir. Taste the food so that our guests can know that it's in good hands. Ah. 
How is it? Wow, okay, Baba. Delicious? Very delicious. Martin, you underestimate me. You don't know me. I don't care about poisoning my enemies. You know, poisoning your enemy is uh, an elementary way of killing people. Uh, well, I, I agree. No, I'm glad you're on the same page. I'm know? glad we are. Yeah. You see, I prefer to deal with my enemies face to face. Mm. Uh, I don't care about poisoning them behind their backs because it is only a coward that will poison his enemies. Yeah, yeah. So when you poison Chief Duro Sonya, what does that make you exactly? couldn't even face him. You have to go through his personal assistant. I'm glad we're on the same page, you coward. Bali. Baba. Pour against the cup of wine. I said I'm okay. I said drink! You know that part in the Bible that says he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Is she, is she there? Yes, she is. So we pray. Okay, okay. He wants to pray with us. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 5 says, He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was laid on him. With his stripes, we were healed. I speak healing to you, daughter. And I say, the hand of God touch you and raise you from that bed of affliction right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Rise and be made whole. Amen. And let the peace of Jesus reign over this family. Amen. Let there be restoration. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Ah. Thank you. Chief, thank you so much. Um, I, I'm sincerely sorry for all I did to you, sir. So sorry, sir. Deep, you know, I'll talk to you later. I have another call. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, sir. Hello? Do you know the mystery behind the game of chess? Where is my son, buddy? Oh, I love the mystery of chess. I'm sure the purpose of this call is not to discuss chess. No, 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 no. I'm not showing you my pawn. Dad? Martins! Dad? Dad? Daddy, what's going on? I promise you, Sonia. I told you I'm going to make you watch while I draw life out of your son. You, you, you can't do this. Dad, Dad. Martins, God is with you. Unfortunately, I am with him. Dad, Dad, wait, Dad, Dad. Goodbye, Sonia. Dad, could I, Dad, Dad, no, Dad, Dad. Martins, 
Matisse! Matisse! There are hopes and dreams in the heart of every man. There is a desperate wanting for one thing or the other. Jealousy, envy, and hatred fill the air. It is nothing compared to what we are yet to uncover. But as for people of God standing on a new reality, the solid rock that never fails, far beyond the darkness and over all principalities, and far beyond the present evil that we see. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the That is in the heart of every man It is meant for God But they go for one thing or another Riches, fame and power Are the only gods they know The sky is grey I see the gathering of the vultures in this world but we belong to the kingdom of heaven there are powers in this world